for you. I said she wanted me to be happily married. Well, I was seven times happily married. Before the Kardashians were even born, we had the Gabor sisters. Just like Kim and her sisters, they were also mostly known for their beauty and wealth. They were the American socialites, who were born and trained for that life from the very beginning. Zsa Zsa Gabor wasn't the prettiest of the three sisters, but they all had their own charm. And Zsa Zsa was the sister who invented the art of being famous simply for being pretty and glamorous. We know a few celebrities today who Zsa Zsa paved the way for, but just like every other it girl, scandal followed her as well. And one of the craziest rumors about her was her affair with her own stepson. So who was the glamorous siren, Zsa Zsa Gabor? And what is the truth about her disturbing relationship with her stepson? Continue watching to find out. Zsa Zsa, whose birth name was Sari, was born in Budapest in 1917. Her fate was sealed from the beginning thanks to her mother Jolie, who was a rich Hungarian socialite. Jolie claimed she made her money from jewelry stores, but everyone knew she ran one of the most famous brothels at the time, and she knew her three daughters would follow in her footsteps. Zsa Zsa was privileged enough to attend the top private schools in Hungary, while training in acting, singing, ballet, ice skating, and tennis. Although they had all the education they wanted available to them, they were never interested in academic learning. Probably because because it was their own mom who taught them that those skills weren't necessary, and all they needed was poise, makeup, hair, jewelry, clothes, and furs. And Zsa Zsa was only 15 when she was crowned Miss Hungary, which was also the start of her journey. But because of World War II and Hitler's invasion, they had to leave home and run away to America, which was probably the best decision they could have made. But getting to New York wasn't an easy journey. She had to travel across Iran, Afghanistan, and Iraq with 21 suitcases full of their stuff. She was on the high seas for about six weeks during wartime. There was a very real danger that the boat could be blown up, Sam Stagg said. But after arriving in America, it all went uphill from there. Until it didn't. The three sisters were making headlines almost immediately. But it took almost a decade before Zsa Zsa showed her face on live TV for the first time. Her brother-in-law had called her to fill a vacancy at Bachelor's Haven. And even though she was hesitant at first, she agreed. Her glamour wasn't noticed on the show immediately. And when the host asked her about the diamonds she was wearing, she replied, darling, these are just my working diamonds. The public immediately fell in love with her after that. Zsa Zsa was an overnight sensation, and she became a regular part of the show. Zsa Zsa Gabor proves that even before the internet, you could do the kinds of things the Kardashians do today. She said things and behaved in a way that most of us could not get away with, the pop culture expert Bob Thompson said. Zsa Zsa did everything celebrities today are doing, except she didn't have the same resources and platforms as they do. Launching a makeup line has become so normalized nowadays, almost any celebrity can do it. But before Kylie Jenner launched Kylie Cosmetics, Zsa Zsa Gabor was the makeup pioneer back then. She had her own skincare, cosmetics, and fragrance brand before anyone else. She appeared in movies, wore a lot of diamonds, and called everyone darling in her thick accent. And obviously, everyone fell for her. Although Ava was the actress in the family, Zsa Zsa played her fair share of roles in movies too, taking all the attention away from Ava. Eventually, she became the most famous one of the sisters, although people never really knew what she was famous for, a little like Paris Hilton of her time. The comparison isn't surprising since it turns out the two of them were related after all. If we had to pick one thing she was known for other than her beauty, it would also be her scandalous life. Yes, a pretty face like hers gets herself into quite some trouble too. Zsa Zsa didn't like to follow rules, but sometimes she took it a little too far. Like when she actually slapped a police officer. She was driving her Rolls Royce in 1989 when she was stopped by the police for driving with an expired registration tag. At first, she was being her usual charming self and obliged to the officer's requests. She gave him her ID and registration before she decided the best thing to do was to drive off and escape him. Obviously, she wasn't thinking straight. The officer managed to catch up to her and pulled her over a second time, but this time Zsa Zsa slapped him. She claimed it was in self-defense while the officer said she was lying. But that still doesn't explain the fact that she drove away after being pulled over. The trial was a circus, and in the end, Zsa Zsa had to serve three days in jail and pay a total of $12,937 in fines. It was either jail or community service, and she obviously picked jail. Zsa Zsa couldn't be caught dead doing community service. She clearly wasn't happy about the outcome and expected to get away with it, just like everything else. In Nazi Hungary, they were fairer than here. Here, they don't kill you, they kill you with words, she said. Other scandals include the time she was kicked out of a plane for not obeying the rules once again. Apparently, she refused to keep her dogs in a travel kennel after being told to do so six times. At one point, enough was enough, and she was escorted out of the plane. Another time, she was accused of demanding that six audience members in wheelchairs that were sitting close to her stage should be removed immediately. She denied the claims and said that the theater worker wanted her to take the fall for it. However, it doesn't change the fact that scandals followed her wherever she went. <laughs> 
it's one thing people remember Zsa, Zsa most for, it's her many marriages. But she was never a gold digger, considering she had her own fortune. Her mother always led her daughter into believing that her only goal was to find a rich husband and get married. Maybe that's why the three sisters had a total of 19 husbands during their lifetimes, nine of them being Zsa Zsa's. She's known for a lot of things, but her quotes on love and marriage will always be iconic. I want a man who's kind and understanding. Is that too much to ask of a millionaire, she once said. Her first ever marriage was when she was still just a teenager. She married the Turkish politician Baran Asaf Belg, which obviously turned out to be a big mistake, and it was over before she knew it. Zsa, Zsa claimed that she never slept with him, and that Kemal Ataturk was actually the first man she slept with. She got a divorce soon enough and took her own advice literally. A girl must marry for love and keep on marrying until she finds it. Except for her husbands, Zsa, Zsa had many lovers in her life, including rumored relationships with Frank Sinatra, Richard Burton, John F. Kennedy, Sean Connery, Elvis Presley, and Henry Fonda. Her second marriage was to Conrad Hilton, who is the great-grandfather of Paris Hilton. They had a child together, Francesca Hilton, but this whole story is weirder than you think. When Zsa, Zsa married Conrad, he already had a son, leaving her with a stepson, Nikki Hilton. At first, Conrad thought that Zsa, Zsa was a gold digger who only wanted him for his money, but she was smarter than him and was able to fool him. He once offered her two jewelry boxes, one with a huge diamond ring and the other one that was smaller. This was clearly a test, and Zsa, Zsa passed it. She picked the smaller one, and Conrad stopped doubting her. That doesn't mean that they lived happily ever after, though. Her relationship with Conrad was horrible. He was cruel and cheap and even made Zsa, Zsa sleep in a separate bedroom. Their marriage was obviously in shambles, and maybe that's where these disturbing rumors started. People claimed that Conrad wasn't Francisca's father, and that her stepson Nikki was the real father, meaning that Zsa, Zsa had an affair with her husband's son, who was also way younger than she was. She opened up about the affair in her memoir, One Lifetime Is Not Enough, where she also exposed Conrad for all the pain he caused her. Her third husband was George Sanders, who then married her sister Magda after they got a divorce. In the end, it seems like he was Zsa Zsa's one true love, and she was heartbroken when he took his own life. The fourth husband was Herbert L. Hutner, followed by Joshua S. Cosden Jr., and then Jack Ryan. Another one of her great quotes was, I'm a great housekeeper. Every time I get a divorce, I keep the house. Zsa Zsa didn't wait long, not even a few days before she married Michael O'Hara, and then she couldn't even wait for her divorce from Michael to be finalized before she wanted to marry yet another man, Philippe de Alba. We can't even keep up at this point. And her ninth and final marriage that also lasted the longest was to Prince Frederick von Anhalt. He was the only one who was there until the last days of her life. Oscar Wilde once said, I can resist everything except temptation. Personally, I can resist every temptation but marriage, Zsa, Zsa said. I don't consider any of my marriages mistakes. They were all good experiences and I learned something important from each. Zsa, Zsa was always gorgeous and alluring, but she had to struggle with different illnesses throughout her whole life, which only became worse. Despite all of that, she still managed to live a whole 99 years, not being able to achieve the goal of turning 100. She suffered her whole life, whether it was from mental health issues or just other illnesses in general. In 2002, she survived a horrible car crash, which paralyzed her and left her in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. She also survived strokes both in 2005 and 2007, whereas in 2010, she had her whole hip replaced. Sadly, in 2011, she had her leg amputated in order to save her life. After many other emergencies that year, she fell into a coma. Her last five years were spent on life support. Her rep, Ed Lotzi, said that Zsa, Zsa was locked away in her mansion, laying in a hospital bed, being fed through tubes in her navel, not able to speak, see, write, or hear, nor knowing who she was or how famous she was. However, it wasn't until 2016 that she was having breathing difficulties and was rushed to the hospital. 2016 had Zsa, Zsa visiting the hospital quite a lot until one last night in December when she had a cardiac arrest while in a coma and died. She was slowly slipping away, peacefully, without pain, and, and it was just uh, the time for her to go. The whole world was sad over the death of the Hollywood legend, the 99-year-old Zsa, Zsa Gabor. Even Paris Hilton paid tribute to her great aunt. Sad to hear the news of Zsa, Zsa Gabor's passing, my great-grandfather and her made such a beautiful couple. May she rest in peace. Her legacy lives through all the socialites following in her footsteps to this day. Zsa, Zsa walked so the Kardashians and many other influencers could run. If you liked this video, make sure to watch this other one.